Okay, so it's me, Scotty, all alone, playing Hitman. Uh, Blood Money. I have... I just bought the HD collection, so I have the Asylum Assassins contracts and Blood Money. But seeing as I'm, I suck dick at the other ones... Oh, I thought I had a profile. Uh, but seeing as I suck dick at the other ones, we're just gonna... I'm just gonna play Blood Money, since it's the easiest one. Well, not... Well, yes, the easiest one. Wait, what? Oh, there's already one. Okay, so... 47 is taken, we're just gonna call this... Weenie. Heh <laughs> weenie. But yeah, this is the first Titman I played and got Silent Assassin on all the levels. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do it this time. Play normal because I'm a bitch. I don't think I'm gonna get Silent Assassin on all the levels. I mean, I'll try, but... No promises. Don't hold me to it. Because then I'm going to fail, and then I'm going to... I don't want to spend this whole Let's Play series just restarting from checkpoints. I mean, that's how I... That's how you do it in Hitman. You trial and error. Save, go back, save, go back. When something goes wrong, like you get caught or whatever. But that's not going to happen this time. If I get into a shootout, it's, it's going to happen. The audio's spiking. I don't know how loud it's going to be. Hopefully it turns out alright. But yeah, Hitman. Love these games. I would play Absolution, but I don't own it. Play it and beat it, don't own it. I'm highly tempted to skip these cutscenes. But I guess I could just watch them. So yeah, this first guy you gotta kill, Kingpin, or whatever his name Yeah, Kingpin. Or whatever the fuck his name is. I think he gets a raw deal, like... Swing King, Kingpin, whatever. I knew King was in there somewhere, shut up. But, like, he gets a raw deal. He didn't... Pff, that wasn't his fault that the ride collapsed. Unless you read those articles and it says it is, because then it is. But, I mean... He would... Like, it's not his fault, but... 47 goes after him anyway. Because this fucking dad... I could be wrong, and it could be he ignored, like, safety protocols and let people go to the park anyway. In that case, that's fucked up. Sorry, I burped. But yeah, I... But you know, 47 accepts a contract, he's gonna kill the guy. That's how he rolls. I like how that picture of his son is just, like, photorealistic, and then the dad looks like... Like... Terrible, like, clay, like, molding. Like a shadow of a person. I like the loading screens. They remind me of, a uh, GoldenEye. A little bit. Like when you pull up the watch. Like, 90% of the people in this game are bald, I just noticed. 47. Lots of the people, you can see the costumes from are bald. Not costume, their clothes, but I guess to 47 they'd be costumes. Alright, let's get to it. Come on. The weird, like, dude narrator comes in. This training level blah, blah, blah. I don't need it. I remember the buttons for the most part. It's so weird going back and playing this, like playing Absolution, because it's so different. To Vault! This be a like, it. Just the control scheme and like the HUD are just completely different. Oh, it's just, look at this blood. This woman is on, is menstruating heavily. Look at the out of her. Come on, B. Come on, homie. Look at him with his sweet letterman's jacket. Get over here. Is it a requirement for thugs to wear like letterman's jackets? Or to prove that they were like football players in high school? Like, can they not get hired unless they prove they're just big dum dums? Come on, man. Enjoy the ride, 47. No, grab you by your head. I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard Dude, I would not. Mr. Swing King. Like, threaten 47. That sorry ass dick here. What the fuck they call you? Coolest line ever. Names are for friends, so I don't need one. I don't think this guy would be knocked out from this unless he had the condition that, like, the Pope Scriber had in Family Guy, where he's, like, the slightest knock on his head would knock him out. I should totally get the first gun and come back and shoot that guy. 
Alright, let's see if I remember. Okay, yeah. Ellis Sneak. Okay. Um, how do I open my inventory? Is it B? Nope. Oh, you hold B. Nope. I swear I played this game before. That's that. Uh. What the fu- Yeah, I'm trying, game. Calm down. Okay, it's X. It's the one thing that's not on the HUD up there. I assure you, I'm not high. Are you? Oh yeah, it's the left thumbstick. Hey, Penny! Let's bust out my fire bar. You don't have to kill these guys, but I... I do. Because fuck them. Wrong place, wrong time, bitches. How does that other guy just not hear this going on? There's some guy behind him just going... <coughs> and he just... <laughs> Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, I'll break him over your back. Crush that windpipe. I wish I could take these guys as close. Man, my Xbox sounds like it's waffle copper right through the roof. There's a... I know there's a secret gun over here somewhere. There it is. Gets my Uzi. With 666 ammo, haha, <laughs> devil. Here it is. Totally gonna shoot this guy. What's up, bitch? Oh, it wasn't a woman, it was a lawyer! I killed him. I'm doing him a kindness. He'd probably starve to death if I didn't cut him free. On a little springy, like, elephant child's toy. That'd be a hell of a way to get found by the... By, like, the corner or whatever. This man starved to death. On this cute little Dumbo toy. Look at it. Boing, boing, boing. Alright, we're going in. I could pick the lock or go in Terminator style. Go in Terminator style. I'm the one who knocks. Ugh. That wasn't Terminator, but... It, it fit what was going on at the moment. I like when he throws them in their heads, just bonk, bonk off the side. Cool off. Should have seen him. I distracted him with the cuddly monkey and hit him with the peace lily. Did you did you say playtime's over? I didn't say anything, actually. Shame. Dude, I'm so stoked on World's End. I'm gonna go see that, uh, the trilogy. They're showing the Cornetto trilogy. In, like, preparation for World's End. Look at this guy. He totally sees me. Come on in, buddy. Come on in, buddy. God is going on in Head knife. Uh, I don't need it, but I'm taking it anyway. Did I take the key card? Oh no, there it is. Wait, where's that shotgun? I should. Oh wait, no. Chemist, something really walking on shotguns. What about me? I think this is the only level you can't get a song on Sass on because it's a stupid tutorial level. They should still have a way to get a song on Sass in this level. Um, I know you can put something in the bacon soda crate. There it is. Let's put in the Uzi. And I guess I'll just ditch my, my pistol here. If I remember how to drop things. Is it X? Nope. Is it A? Nope. It's Y. It was the giant button that said SL, SLP40, whatever the gun was called. What's up, dude? No problem. Just carrying this baking soda to the hoes who are making your cocaine. It's a kind of shady thing to do, let the prostitutes make your Coke crack or whatever, but I don't judge you. I can get the money. Okay, whatever. Yeah, these people totally have their prostitutes, their bitches making their drugs. I mean, I guess they don't care if their uh, customers die or not, because... Or, well, well, they should. Shouldn't they? I mean, if they die, they can't buy any more drugs. And if a hoe's making it, she's too beat up, like two big old black eyes, she won't be able to see what she's done. Now the drugs are totally going to get fucked up now that they're going to be working in the dark. I think you can see two bitches, like, knock heads. Let's see. 
Yeah, you told the camp. Bonk! Fucking three stooges. Oh, prostitutes. Why this so funny? 47 could make a lot more money if he looted the corpses and or would take the drugs to sell afterwards. Instead of just like the 500 grand that he gets paid or whatever. He could have like, he could have millions. I, wait, no, I don't want the fire Where's my piece? Come here. Taking a piss? That was your mistake. Now you're a human shield. Whoa, that guy just fucking jettisoned. Just hang out while I reload. You guys see that guy? He like shot up and almost went through the fucking roof. Brat. That guy got a bad deal. He had to watch all his buddies go down who coincidentally looked like him. It's not a racist thing. All the character models look alike. White or otherwise. All the fat white bald dudes look the same. All the... Black angsty dudes look the same, all the girls look the same, they all look the same. Except for that dude with his uh, sweet, like, sweet, sweet dog, like, suit on. It's probably velvet. Or felt. It's probably felt. And... Watch this, this sniper rifle would not fit in this case. Look at this. How do I zoom in? There it is, it's up. Boom! I wonder, I'm gonna try to shoot that bird. Hold on, after I shoot these guys. God, he breathes like a motherfucker. He's like an asthmatic. <sighs> the scope shaking all over the place. Who's this last guy? See over there? There he is. Uh, look at this. I'm just tapping down gently. He's like. <gasps> Ooh, he's having like a stroke. I wanna pop some, like, uh. Panthazim or whatever it is in Metal Gear. Right, let's try and shoot this bird, see what happens. <laughs> it just pops. Okay, how do I... There we go. Let's just leave this very expensive sniper up here. Why was it even there? Did 47's like, contact leave it there for him? If so, why didn't he just have him like leave a bomb under Swing King's chair and just detonate it? I mean, I guess it wouldn't make for a very fun game to just sit in an office and push triggers and detonators, but it'd be easier. I don't know how long these parts are going to run for. I think I'll just do two missions each. There's only 12 levels, 13 if you count the the very, very last one. Get my poison. See, like the... What, what the fuck? Are the gangsters just not coming down here, or are they ignoring the fact that there's specialist assassin equipment just laying around? So yeah, I think I'll just do two levels, at least for the beginning. Depends on how long it takes. I don't want these missions, all these, to turn into shooting, uh, like shoot 'em up, like bullet fests. Damn, look at the titties. But if they turn into shoot fests, I'll restart a couple times, and if it just keeps going that way, and I'm dumb, I'll just fucking keep it going. I could choke this guy out, push him off the rail, but I want this. I'm gonna come with the fire extinguisher. I'm gonna break his neck. What's up, bitch? Ooh, you just got domed. That dude totally got fucking domed. So his body or so that bitch doesn't find him. Alright. Uh, I think I poison her and then hide, but if she turns on and finds me, I'm gonna be shit out of luck. Don't turn around, bitch. Ah, oh, you bitch, now I have to kill you. Uh, push. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Uh, should I shoot her? Yeah. Look at the way she's dressed, she... Pff, slut. Blah. Okay. Well, now that things are fucked, where's this fire extinguisher? So I'm gonna kill Swing King with it. Just some chemist walking with a fire extinguisher. Mr. Swing King. How'd you get in here? Caroline! My client has Look how ridiculous he looks with this little... Fucking glasses. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last. Forty Seven's eyes are gonna be fucked after this for wearing glasses that aren't like Look at the specially prescribed for him. Parents. Or he doesn't even need glasses. Just wearing glasses just gonna ruin his eyesight. Hey, thanks for standing up, Swing King. Now to make my exit. 
Nalu here. If you look, you can see it's all dented. See, this would be... So, what 47 just did was he showed the picture of the dead boy to the guy that he killed. He's bleeding out of his ass. So, I showed him the picture of the dead boy next... before I killed him. Obviously, the cops are going to tie that to the dad. So, I'm doing that a favor, and I'm taking this photo back so nothing gets tied to him. I'm looking out for the client. They would so easily tie... Climb out. How do... Come on, there we go. Yeah, they would totally tie that to the person who hired 47. So I'm, I'm covering his ass. Good guy 47. Make sure no freaking cops find his clients. I mean, I wasn't breaking the contract. He said show him the picture before you kill him, and I did. He didn't say leave the picture. Uh, okay. Now, I hope this gets all of them. It can miss a guy or two, I think. So, I wonder if this is too close. Bust out my Uzi, just in case any fucking jerk survived. Like, Snoop Dogg, look at that! The one guy I wanted to kill with it. And he dies perfectly rigid, like instant rigor mortis. Look at that. He died in class, just... Ugh, all straight. And you too. So yeah, that's the intro level. Shoot people and blow things up. And push bitches out of windows. Then you get a sweet uh, newspaper article. Most of the stuff that's funny is this. Like cold-blooded killers on the run. That's not funny, but some of these are. Uh, yeah, kids lemonade stand condemned and demolished. I think that's based off the actual story where this kid's lemonade stand was this cop came and like told her to shut down. They didn't demolish it, but they shut her down because I guess you have to have like a business license to sell it or something. It was really stupid. And that's one of 47's competi competiting competitor assassins. I don't know words. At least right now, it's pretty late. Right. Save this motherfucker. Whoop! Weenie. Same career, weenie. Alright, the next level. Wait, you go to the hideout? I don't remember this. I could have sworn it just sent you to the next level. Oh well, I guess we can look at 47's empty hideout. Look at all the guns I don't have! I wonder if I can see 47's bird. Yeah, there he is. Or she, whatever it is. Who knows? That's the mystery. One thing I wish I would have brought back with Absolution, and I understand why they didn't, but I wish it was there, the upgrading weapons and choosing what you bring with you on a mission. I really wish that would have been brought back in. That's like the best part of this game is making the silver ballers like super crazy with the extended magazine and like the scope for some reason on the pistol and the laser sight and the, the automatic. Just yeah, you just got two fully automatic souped up pistols like <laughs> clacking bitches. And this guy with this fucking ridiculous haircut. It's weird. He's like he's bald on the back and side of his head, but like the top, he's just like he's just got a little. Mop of hair just sitting on his head. It's weird. Rick Henderson, first I think he's like I think he's like a cancer patient, and that's like the wig they gave him. But he was here to talk with the CIA, the ex head of the CIA that's out for forty seven. He's got a boner for him because he's afraid that rogue countries will like make a clone army and try and destroy America or something. I know the story, I just haven't played it in a while. I'm paraphrasing. And, spoiler alert, that's Diana, 47's handler, there, helping him up. She's not really working for him. That was another thing that's Absolution I was really bummed about. They changed Diana's voice actor. Actress. I wish it would have been the same voice actress. They almost changed 47's. Like, they didn't bring 
David Bateson, I think that's his name. They didn't bring him back for the voice, and then they like didn't call him, and he was calling him. I was like, hey, you know, what's up? Why didn't you call me? And then they're like, yeah, this game's gonna suck without you. So they brought him back, and it was awesome. Scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that, listen, please. It's funny how drastically the game changed from contracts to blood money, and even more so from like blood money to absolution. I hope in the next. This, I was almost at Assassin's Creed. I hope in the next Hitman, you get to play as uh, what's her fuck the the girl assassin that you save in Blood and Absolution. I think that'd be pretty sweet. If they didn't want to do Forty Seven, which I think they should, but if they choose not to for some reason, it should totally be the girl. Forgive me for forgetting her name. Uh. Uh, I it says low velocity ammo. It has uh. Or wait, where is it? I could have sworn low velocity ammo. It said like less stopping power or something. Whatever. The only things I will ever upgrade are gonna be like equipment down here, sniper rifle, and pistol. These three in the middle are useless. Like, if you have to have a shotgun and an and M4 with you, you're doing your job wrong. Although they are fun to upgrade with the extra money you get, and just, like, you're replaying through the game. And just want to, like, shoot people up, it's a lot of fun to soup those up. Like, the shotgun, you can get a No Country for Old Men, is that the movie with the guy with the sound shotgun? I think that's what it is. You can get a big old silencer on it. What's so, up, dude? Is this the guy? I wanna... No. This guy's useless. So, I gotta kill a dad and his son and take off on the plane. Gonna try and get Silent Assassin. Cross your fingers, guys! Yeah! There's a guy over here that I can take his clothes from. I do like how in Blood Money, the sedative you get, the with this. Oh, hope it doesn't see that. The sedative is like permanent. Like you inject a guy and he's out for the whole level, whereas Silent Assassin, Hitman 2, you would like chloroform a dude and you'd wake up like 10 minutes later and go running around naked and like warn everybody. Jab! He's fucking violent with that needle. You hear it pierce his skin. It's like, pop! He just jams it in there. He is not gentle. Let's take a suit. And I don't need the shotgun. Let's hope nobody sees me climbing up on the roof. I look like a gardener, like a landscaper. Wee! 47, the gardener. Oh yeah. People don't get really suspicious in Blood Money. Like, I could have ran past that guy, you wouldn't have thought twice. And the older hitman's like, you have to walk everywhere, and even then, people suspect the hell out of you. Nobody spot me, nobody spot me. I'm just a landscaper climbing a rain gutter. Alright, cool. Nobody spot me, okay. You can get spotted there, and they just start shooting at you, it's just a pain in the ass. Alright, now the question. Shoot him, choke him, or poison him? Or I can make it look like an accident. Ah, uh, I'll choke him. It's 47's favorite weapon after all, so... Why the hell not? The pistol's just security in case things are the shit. That's a beautiful, beautiful voice. Broken neck. I know it wasn't singing, but... I wanted to say the Bane reference. Where's the snub? Give me your snub. Look at this little bit of pistol, it's like a little 22. You'd point that at somebody to be like, is that a 22? And 47 would be like, yeah, I got six of them. A little 22's got no stop power at all. Not that I know anything about guns. Don't, don't listen to me. I'm sure if you got shot with a 22, it'd fucking kill you. But to a video game character, it's probably like, get that shit out of here. 
I guess I could climb over that wall. But it would look more suspicious, because there's like a guy right there. I think. Some guy walks by the trash bags. <clears throat> now comes the tricky part. I have to... Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to try and set a bomb on this little hanging wine platform and then detonate it and drop it on the sun. And for some reason, when I was test playing this, it just wouldn't fucking work. Yeah, pink shirt. That's kind of one. Like, I would set the bomb and detonate it, and it just wouldn't go off. I mean, it would go off, but it wouldn't land on it. Now I play the waiting game. Um, wine cellar. There we go. Oh, he's there. I think. I think. Yeah, there he is. Boop! If this doesn't work, I'm fucked. God damn it, like that. Okay. <sighs> Shit. It, it killed the, the guy with him. But not him. That must have missed him by like a hair. God damn it. Yep, there he goes. You son of a bitch, you smug piece of shit. Your pink shirt. I know that's not how you speak. Spanish? Puerto Rican? Ooh, I, I forget where we are. We're like in the Havana. I don't know what they speak there. I know in South America they speak like Portuguese and Spanish. But I'm just covering my bases. I don't want to offend anybody. You smug motherfucker. Look at him looking, he knows. God, I just want to shoot him. Look at this guy just taking pictures of the crime scene. He's probably making a crap ton of money selling those little cops. <sighs> so yeah, now I just get to sit and look at him. And wait until he goes somewhere quiet so I can shoot him. Or hit him with a hammer. Or however I decide to... Improvise. I can't believe that fucking wine thing killed the guard, but not him. That was ridiculous. That's what I meant by it missing. It. Just, I don't know how it misses him. He stands like just out of range. I think that counts as an accident, so I don't think that guy's death would count against me. Or at least I hope it won't. What's up, dudes? I'm dressed just like you. Well, I got our khakis and our sweet sun hats. I'm wearing sunglasses and doors. Everything's just okay. Don't think twice. I could have poisoned this cocaine. I guess. Now I'm gonna shoot him. you! Oh my! No! Ah! <sighs> Things are just speed walk, speed walk. <laughs> Things are just not going my way. At least nobody made me. Like nobody spotted me. Yeah, stuff blew up and I'm running, what of it? I do want to escape in the suit though, because you have to pay like five grand to get your suit retrieved. Also, if I get back in my suit, I think my suspicion will be done. If anybody suspected me, that is. The killer landscaper strikes again. These people get knocked out with their eyes open, which always scared me and made me a little concerned. Because it's a sedative, it's probably... I'm totally standing on his chest. Like, it's a sedative, which I assume means it knocks him unconscious, but I think it's just full body paralysis. They're just letting their, like, trapped in their own heads, watching what's going on. Yeah, I'll step on your face. Uh, uh, uh. And if so, if it is just full body paralysis, that guy can totally identify 47. Now we escape down this convenient little pathway here. Look at this. I am the mind freak. Mind freak! Chris Angel, he talks with a lisp. Seriously, you guys. If any of you watch Mind Freak, which you fucking shouldn't, it's a terrible show. He talks with a lisp. 
Don't believe me? Check it out. He totally does. Like, what the fuck is this pack? That's so convenient. They probably make the workers take it. Try. I'm gonna totally gonna push this guy off. Go for a swim! I like how that kills him. Like, nobody in, like, Havana can swim. Alright, let's make sure this, uh... Oh, shit. Is that the awake guard? Yeah, he is. He comes down for smoke. I think. He takes that elevator right there. Or he just stands there and never turns around. I can't tell. Or I don't remember. Let's observe, shall we? Oh. The very elegant Havana guard takes a smoke break. And the very dangerous creatures. We don't want to start them. But we'll keep our distance. Look at him. Majestic. Okay, so I guess this is the guy that... I'm scared. I don't have to shoot anybody else. How do I reload? There we go. It's Red Pumper. Just in case you were wondering. I don't think this guy turns around. Oh! Oh, he totally does. I thought he took the elevator. I guess he just goes and... That's a hard job. Come on, you bitch. Come on, you bitch. Like, I'm tempted to go up there and... Oh, there's the guy. See, I wasn't lying. There's a the guy that comes down. See, these guys know how to make drugs. They actually get workers who know what they're doing to make drugs. Look at them. They got gas masks on. They got gloves. They're not contaminating anything. Their stuff's probably pure shit. Those other people, their stuff's probably got, like, chalk and, like, mixer in it. They're probably not getting good drugs because prostitutes are making it. They don't know how to make drugs. Believe it or not, people, it's a science. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Alright. Let's sedate this bitch. Oh, I thought that guy was still gonna be in the elevator. Stay still. Steve Perry. Nah, just let him go. Alright, cool. Alright, we're scot free. I probably got like expert or shadow. Probably didn't get silent assassin, but whatever. I can live with it. Make my super conspicuous, or super unconspicuous exit in the biplane this year that everybody will probably hear when I take off and fly off in the distance. <laughs> right by the house. Alright, moment of truth. Ba, ba, da, da. Um, woo, silent assassin. See, everything went wrong. I ain't, I ain't worried, I ain't even mad. Look at this, now I don't have to waste any of my hard-earned cash, like bribing civilians or anything. Look at this, all these people, fuck all you guys. Fuck you, civilians, fuck you, chief, and fuck you, I'm not going to get a new identity. Aw, oh, gee. So yeah, I'll... Well, let me see. Look at how small the article is. They got nothing on me. You got nothing. You got nothing. Look at you. You dead. You dead, old man. What are you going to do? Alright, so... It should take me to save screen. I'm hoping. Don't make a liar on me. Alright, sweet. So I'm gonna save my weenie profile. Call it a day here and hope my audio is all fucked up so I don't have to re-record all this. So yeah, next time. Opera House.